It is the biggest day of the year for some local student athletes. The Baldwin County Special Education Spring Games were held today just at Fairhope's WC Major Field. Yeah, this year's games are a two day event and they aren't associated with the Special Olympics this year because of COVID safety precautions. But as our Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherrick found out, none of that matters nope. to the competitors. The crowds may not be here this year, but these student athletes are taking this every bit as seriously and the families are just grateful the school system was able to put this on. Runners to your mark, set, go! Go guys, go! After missing out on any competition last year when the Special Olympics was canceled, to say these student athletes were thrilled to be back is an understatement. It was the first of two days of track and field events. This event is being put on by the Baldwin County School System and made possible by the special education teachers across the county. The cheering sections of students at this year's games was noticeably lacking for safety reasons, but the enthusiasm of the athletes most definitely was not. It does make it different. Um, the athletes are very excited to be here though. They, they totally have missed not coming to this. They prepared all year um, and we're just happy to see them here and their families. Caleb Ivey from Spanish Fort Middle School had his biggest fan with him today. His mother, Lakeisha Johnson, cheered him on against the competition. For her and other parents, this day is about so much more than winning a ribbon. It's about inclusion and recognition. It shows people that they, they are people too, and, and they, need, they need to have their morale boosted. They need, they need to be seen by the world, not just as special needs, but as people. Judging by their reactions, though, being recognized for their efforts didn't hurt. I'm so proud of you, girl. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Is it fun? Yeah. Was it cool to see kids from other schools, not just the ones that you're around every day? Yes. Do you think you might make some friends today? Uh-huh. Have you? Yes, sir. About 150 student athletes in all competed today. That will be the same tomorrow as the rest of the feeder patterns in the county come here. The school system hopes that next year they'll bring back the Special Olympics in full. Reporting from Fairhope, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.